It's been nearly a month since the official start of winter, and Mother Nature hasn't held back any cold or wet weather. The area has already had to deal with several snowstorms, the last of which left Attleboro with seven inches of snow. This has kept the Attleboro DPW hard at work, and Superintendent John Clover spoke with us about some of the ways residents can help them keep the roads safe for drivers. If we have a snow or ice event after hours, after dark, I received the first call from the Attleboro Police Department indicating to me that the streets are icy and slippery. I then call my general foreman, who, who then in turn calls his two foremans to notify the rest of the highway personnel that we have ice in the roads to report to work. And we have uh, 11 sanders that are loaded with sand and salt, and the guys are assigned to their routes to spread the sand and salt on the roadways throughout Attleboro. We do not plow or sand Route 1, Route 1A, or Interstate 95. We've had a few snow events. We've only had about two events where we needed to plow the snow. We've needed to uh, spread sand and salt almost a dozen times so far this winter. And here it is only the middle of January. So I would say it's probably average, maybe slightly above average over the last few years. With the winter parking ban from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m., it would be great during any snow event to not park on the city streets uh, on the side of the roads, things of that nature. Also, we asked the city residents not to snow blow the snow back into the street, especially after the street's been plowed. That just recalls for us to go back to the street to plow it twice. We have uh, numerous basketball nets that have been placed on the side of the roads that interfere with the sand and snow, snow removal operations that interfere with the truck drivers. So I'd like to ask the city residents not to, not to place any basketball nets or any cars parked overnight on the side streets of Attleboro. The only other parking ban at that time would be an emergency parking ban that after I discuss with the police department, I have that put on to uh, inform residents not to park on city streets during a snow event. And that could usually happen during the day, daylight hours, anytime after the, three, the 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. winter parking ban during a snow event, we need to keep the streets clear. So I ask the residents not to park on the streets when, they, when it's snowing out, when it looks, appears to be that we're going to be plowing snow. We're down here at the Attleboro Highway Yard on uh, Wall Street, and to my left is a large pile of sand, and to my right, uh, over my right shoulder is a large pile of mixture of sand and salt. Right now it's mixed three parts sand to one part salt. Facing me behind you is the uh, is the original wooden salt shed that holds approximately 1,600 tons of salt. Behind me is the white tent that I purchased um, back in 2004. That holds uh, about 1,000 tons of salt. And I would say the city of Attleboro is very fortunate in having this capacity of road material for the winter months, such as the salt and the sand. We have, I think, above average compared to other surrounding towns. When it snows and it's icy out, everyone's calling for salt from the supplier and it seems to take a couple days to get the salt delivered here. We're not in the dire conditions as other cities and towns are when they're spreading a large amount of salt. We do offer a free five gallon bucket of sand and salt mixture at the entrance to the highway yard on Wall Street. And over the years, some residents have taken uh, advantage of that, you know, taken liberty to take some sand and salt for their residential properties. The only thing we ask them is if they are Attleboro residents, and that if the uh, that there's a five gallon limit on that, please bear with us. It's 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 tough. Nobody I understand. Nobody likes the snow and ice. So far this winter, if anything, I think it's been above average icy conditions. We've had nine degrees below zero a few we two weeks ago, and you know we don't like it as much as anybody else doesn't like it. And um, we're doing the best we can. Fortunately, it's a short season, and um, right now, being January 17th, I think we're just at the halfway point, maybe a little bit beyond that, and uh, the days are getting longer, and hopefully we can get through this season um, relatively quick.